upon arrival to to uh, to transport the Canadians as well as the Canadians will be screened. I just want to remind the honourable members, one question was asked. We can't keep throwing questions and expect the minister to answer. We just asked one question. We're getting an answer. Let's listen. The honourable minister. Let me start over, Mr. Speaker. I don't understand if he's asking about whether or not there's droplets on the plane, in the plane, or in between passengers. I will tell you this, though, Mr. Speaker. As I outlined yesterday in the media, the plan is to ensure that passengers are safe, are transported accordingly, and are quarantined when they arrive in Canada. Thank you. L'honorable député de Richmond, Arthabasca. C'est normal, Monsieur le ministre, s'il posait la question au ministre du Transport. Hier, le le ministre a dit que les 27 passagers du vol CZ-311 avaient été contactés et qu'ils ne représentaient aucun risque pour la population. Le problème, c'est que ce type d'avion peut contenir de 300 à 350 passagers. Les 27 dont elle parle, ce sont ceux qui se trouvaient dans un rayon de 3 mètres des deux personnes infectées par le coronavirus. Monsieur le Président, alors que le monde entier prend des précautions majeures, comment se fait-il que la ministre ne sache pas où se trouvent tous les passagers, où se trouve l'avion et quel est leur état de santé présentement? Oui. For the clarity and the question, he's referring to the plane in which one passenger came off that was symptomatic. In fact, as I mentioned in the House yesterday, all 27 passengers in his vicinity were screened and found to be negative, not carriers of the virus, and the plane was cleaned according to infectious disease protocols in partnership with the airline, who would be doing that, I would hope, in between all of the flights. And certainly, and certainly, Mr. Speaker, and certainly, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Riverbend. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So first of all, she says it will be. Then she says it hopes it will be cleaned. Where is the plane? <laughs> the, yesterday, the Health Committee learned that the government had not located the plane carrying the first confirmed coronavirus case. There's no knowledge of whether passengers immediately reboarded the plane or whether proper sanitation processes took place. Right. Locating this plane is crucial. Is there any chance that others traveling on this plane could have caught the virus and gone undetected. That's right. Here, here. Honourable Health Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, one of the interesting elements of the coronavirus outbreak has been the spread of misinformation and fear across Canadian society that was actually noted by an interviewer on the weekend. In fact, she asked me, how can Canadians be assured that they're getting the right information? And I think one way might be that the opposition doesn't sensationalize the risk to Canadians and allows Canadians to understand where they can find it. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Skyview. Mr. Speaker, the Transmountain Expansion moving forward.